In this lesson, we are going to determine whether this series uh, is conditionally converging or absolutely converging. Okay, so let's check the uh, original series first. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, so this turns out to be a alternating series. So what we can do is we can apply the alternating series test. Okay. Okay, so just check it first. Let's check the uh, a few of the terms first. Um, so the first one, when n is 1, we're going to get minus 1 over 1, which will give us minus 1. For n equals 2, okay, we're going to get positive 1 over root 2. For n equals 3, it's going to be minus uh, 1 over root 3, and so on. Okay. So this, uh, so let's check the uh, two conditions to see whether this is converging or not. Okay, so here the nth term is 1 over root n. So we're going to take the limit of this as n goes to infinity. So, so obviously um, the denominator here is increasing. So therefore the overall result is going to approach 0. Okay, second condition, we want to show that the nth plus 1 term is less than or equal to the nth term. So that is, we have 1 over square root of n plus 1 less than or equal to 1 over root n. Okay, so this is going to give us uh, root n less than or equal to square root of n plus 1, which is, uh, this is a true statement. Okay, so it's true. Okay. Okay, so it's true for uh, going, true on the interval that we want which is going from 1 to infinity. Okay, so so therefore, right, this is true and this is true. So therefore, this series converges by the absolute, uh, sorry, converges by the altering, uh, altering series test. Okay, so now let's take the absolute value of this. Okay, so we need to determine whether this is going to converge absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to check for uh, con absolutely convergent. Okay, so for original series, so we have 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n over n, is it? I'll square root n. I'm sorry. So if we're going to take, right, so we take the absolute value of this. So that's going to give us 1 over root n, okay? 1 over root n, this is a p-series. with p equals to 1 half. And so, therefore, this is, uh, since for p equals 1 half, this is diverging, okay? All right. Therefore, our original series, okay, is condi it's conditionally converging, okay? Therefore, is conditionally convergent. Okay. All right, so we checked in the beginning. It's, a, it's an altering series. So we used the altering series test and showed that it was converging. And then we took the absolute value of the nth term and then that gave us a p-series with p equals one-half, 
which implies that it's diverging. So therefore, this series is conditionally convergent.